bill on its way to Governor Phil Scott regulates how your data is bought and sold online. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. Our political reporter Calvin Cutler joins us in studio now. Calvin, tell us what is this bill, what does it do, and why? Well, the internet, social media, and technology is woven into the fabric of how many live today. But the question of who pays for the internet and how has state lawmakers concerned about how companies are using your data. There's a saying, if something is free, then you are the product. Companies collect thousands of data points on us every day through smartphones, smartwatches, and the websites that we use. Pretty much every moment of every day. Our shopping history, music taste, internet browsing history, and more. And other data considered more sensitive. Our age, location, health information, weight, eye color, and even your social security number. That data is aggregated and sold to companies who use it to target products to us. And in, in some ways, that's totally fine. And we want to see the ads targeted at us. And in other ways, there could be severe risks like identity theft or reputational harms or harms to kids um, that are being manipulated online. Vermont's attorney general, who is also suing social media company Meta, says privacy is about having the ability to control what others know about us. When you translate that ethos of privacy into our modern world, which is so largely lived online, what that comes down to is data privacy. A bill passed on the final day of the legislative session regarded as one of the strongest in the country bans the sale of Vermonters social security numbers and financial and medical information. And it would allow Vermonters to sue companies that break state regulations. But that has some companies, like the Vermont Country Store, concerned. They conduct most of their business online, and they say the language in the bill is vague and could open them and others to nuisance lawsuits, even if they aren't doing anything wrong. And that piece really encourages uh, lawyers and unscrupulous lawyers uh, to go after businesses for money. Uh, I like the idea of having the attorney general encourage compliance through action. Governor Phil Scott has similar concerns of impacts on merchants. Small businesses have enough to take care of um, without adding uh, to their, their burden. They're going to have a hard enough time figuring out how to pay their property taxes. Now, this bill also includes new rules for social media companies aimed at protecting kids online, taking aim at algorithms that keep people in front of screens for hours. Reporting in studio, Galvin Cutler, Channel 3 News.